Peace and your Huru Lock fam. I'm in five months. Time is going right on by. Five months free forming. All right, so this is the update. Check out my front. Check me out. Check me out. Got my side right here. Other side. Then show y'all the back. That's how it's looking. So I'm enjoying it. It's really different. Really different from my last journey. I think this one is more of a journey where I'm sticking out. Because it's not every day. Because, I mean, it's a lot of people that I see on the street that's, you know, locked up. But it's usually manicure locks, salon locks. Um, it's not too often that you see freeform locks. And I feel like sometimes locks, they already come with a stereotype. And I bet when folks see me with my head, they're like, man, he careless. He care less, you know what I'm saying? He just this, that, and third when really they ain't even take not one step into my mind. You understand? Like they don't understand the reason why I'm doing it. And it's a whole lot of preconceived notions from the get-go. So if you all are experiencing that, don't even worry about it. You know, I feel like no matter what you do, people are always going to have preconceived notions they're going to judge you regardless of what you do so i say keep doing you regardless so i am learning a lot i feel like i'm getting more in tune with myself and um i guess just having even more patience because i feel like when i had the form locks you pretty much knew how your locks was going to look you just waiting on them to form, firm up some but now it's like i don't even know how my end result is going to look like i don't know how many locks i'm gonna have and I feel like that just adds even more excitement to it, even more freedom to it. And I'm just taking it each day at a time and I'm embracing it. And I'm not mad at it whatsoever. Uh, what I have been doing, I've been doing rosemary rinses. Uh, shout out to Cupid Valentino. He said that it's really good for opening up your hair follicles, which increases growth. It's like the more that your scalp can breathe, the more space, the more room your hair has to grow, pretty much. So, I've been doing a rinse, I say, maybe once a week, about once a week. And for right now, I no longer use shampoo. Because now that I'm, I'm becoming more aware, it's like, you don't want to wash your hair with chemicals and there's chemicals within the shampoo so make sure whatever shampoo that you're using make sure that the chemicals that are on it like they're natural um or the ingredients you don't want chemicals in your hair i'm sorry the ingredients are natural um right now i'm just washing my hair with just straight water and i rinse once a week that's it so I would definitely say water has been getting the job done. I've been doing okay without shampoo. I don't necessarily need it. This is what realization I've come to. Also what I do, um, I have some jojoba oil. And what I do with my jojoba oil is I put several drops of jojoba oil in a spray bottle. And I fill up the spray bottle with water, mix it up. And then I spray my hair once every morning or I spray it at night. I spray it every single day. So, you know, just to give it that, that moisture, just to lock in that moisture. I do that every single day. You know, so that also helps with pretty much making your, your locks a bit softer. Um, you know, not seeming as dry. So, you know, that's also a recommendation what you can do. Uh, you can also mix up any oils put many oils uh within a bottle of water mix it up you know you can put some aloe in there it don't matter you know you, uh, you can be your own little chemist you can you know do some little concoctions it's whatever you know what i'm saying so um the options they're limitless just you know i'm just trying to take i guess the most natural route as possible i feel like the more natural it is the more the realer it is i guess you could say for lack of a better term 
Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm I'm getting closer to the way I guess it's like everything was pretty much implanted within the earth for us to use. You feel me? And I feel like when something is man-made, it's never going to be perfect. Whatever comes from the earth, whatever's natural, it's going to be perfect within its own sense. Because I feel like there is a motive behind every action. Like, my action, I'm breathing. My motive. Because my body needs that oxygen. For instance... My action is I'm recording this video. Motive. Because I wanted y'all to see my progress. It's a motive behind every action. And the action put things here on this earth. Here naturally. Motive. Okay, we need something to eat. We need medicine. We need this. We need that. So you got to draw from the natural resources. It's in abundance. You just got to get it. And you got to be aware and knowledgeable of it. And, um, you know, I've been doing uh, research and whatnot. And, you know, I'm just, I guess I'm just figuring out just the natural way of life is, it's the road for me. So if any of y'all are on the same road or trying to go on that road and you have any info, shoot, I mean, shoot, we can exchange the info. You can hit me up. Shoot me some knowledge, you know, uh, let me know, whether it be food-wise, I don't care, whether it be hair-wise, anything, health-wise, if you got any info, let me know, you feel me, I feel like humans, we're not islands, we're not isolated, we're not supposed to be by ourselves, we need other bodies of land surrounding us, and we use each other so that we can work for the greater good. We use each other's mind, info, wisdom, knowledge, whatever. Experiences, realities, different realities. It's one earth, different bodies, many realities. So we can use each other's learning experiences and realities to better understand our individual experiences upon this earth. So if you have any info, knowledge, hit me up. Uh, this is my fifth lock update. Give y'all another look. Hold up. I'll take it off real quick. That's how we looking. Five months. Loving it. Show y'all the back real quick. And also, this is like, this is like my place, I guess you could say meditation. I love to sit right here. I love to chill. Um, just being close and connected with the trees and, and nature, like it's it's no energy like it. It's such positive energy. And we all need that positive energy. And just sitting out here really clears my mind, it clears my thoughts of of just impurities that's within my system, it cleanses me. And just being out here. It just, man, it's, it's nothing like it. So, my recommendation, if you got any area that's kind of, I guess, wooded or uh, just got like a lot of trees, sit up under a tree, close your eyes, just cleanse your mind. Meditate, man. Do what you got to do so that you can walk upon this earth with a clearer essence and understand who you are get a better understanding you know I, I like to sit back and reflect a lot and I feel like when you reflect and you get a better understanding then I feel like that's where the wisdom comes in so just sit back cheer reflect sometimes and um, you know I, I feel like life is it is just like a chess game it is just like a chess match and The enemy is the negatives, and you got to outthink the enemy, understand? You got to think, okay, if I move this piece here, he going to move this piece here, I'm going to move this piece, it's going to move this, you feel me? So it's like you got to be 10 steps ahead, and you got to use your allies, you got to use all your pieces to your advantage. And so that's why I'm asking you all to just feed off of me some, 
I'll feed off of you some because I feel like we're all allies. You feel me? And so you got to use everybody that you can. Use your whole army. Don't use one out. Don't leave one out because everyone has their own significant role. The pawns, even though they can only move one space, they're still significant on that battlefield. So never forget that YouTube world. Every piece is significant. Every single piece is significant. Never forget that. So you want to drop the negativity by any means necessary. Add the positivity by any means necessary. And sustain life upon this earth. And so let me show y'all this scenery I got. This is what I'm working with. Just come out here after maybe a rough day or a peaceful day or it don't matter what any type of day I just come out here and just collect my thoughts find my peace and go back into the war zone pretty much understand with a clearer state of mind so appreciate y'all for watching YouTube world always keep it happy keep it nappy love yourself remember how I said there's a motive behind every action so know that the action was your hair like this. Know that there's a motive. There's a reason behind everything. Know that your hair ain't like this for no reason. So love it. Self-love. Always love yourself. That comes first. So keep it happy. Keep it nappy all day, every day. I holla at y'all. Zaylock23. Peace in your hoo Yeah.